I'll go over here. Um, that truly is what it's all about. Yeah. Earth and Grievers. Um, and once again, let's hear for Ryan Murphy. Yeah. What an absolute legend that he is. Those stories. He's the best. Yes. Love Murph. Okay, Beisel and the Cap Kids over there, I see you. It appears we've reached the end. Our final Golden Goggle Award of the evening is upon us. It's been so much fun sharing duties with you, although I am bummed we were only together twice. I know, the cake top stage. I know. Us. It's probably because Did we, we like the cake top, cake top stage. Do we like that? We felt like we were half the time yeah, we like back it. to you. I didn't design it, so, you know, anyway, can't take credit. Anyway, too much trouble up here together. <laughs> Let's Anyways, get to it. back to reading. It's been a blast. Yes. Um, and to present the award for Female Athlete of the Year, mm -hmm. sprinting royalty, like guys truly, will forever be linked by a certain finish at the 2000 Sydney Games. And if you guys think we're trouble on the stage, buckle up. Oh. At the Olympics in Sydney, they tied for gold in the 50 free. Tied for gold. Even more incredibly, it would not be the last Olympic gold in the 50 for either, as they would go on to win another each. Wh oh, sorry. I'm <laughs> I was so okay, excited. Take my line. One of them defended his title kind of in a timely manner at the next Olympic Games in 2004 mm -hmm. in Athens, while the other took a little vacation, took his time, waited another 16 years. He did it the way that I probably would have done it, but I assume the foreign I am, so no <laughs> thanks. Um, but he won the 50 free in the 2016 Games in Rio. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome 10 time Olympic medalist Gary Hall Jr and the raddest and oldest individual Olympic champion ever in the sport of swimming, Anthony Irvin. Hello, my good, good friend. How have you been? I've been well. You know, some strikes, some gutters. I can't complain. How about you? Every day is better than the next, or was it every day is better than the last? I can't seem to remember. Well, both can be true at times. It just depends on the moments. You always were uh, a deep one in the deep end. Uh, <laughs> I just read what they'll tell me. <laughs> I know, I've, I, I, I veered from the script a little bit there. <laughs> Okay, now wait, wait, it's telling us to uh, get serious. Next summer, at the trials in Indy, and at the games in Paris, these four women are bound to be among the leading Olympic storylines. From a fast improving 17 year old to two of the most versatile swimmers the sport has seen, to the greatest of all time, we'll be hearing a lot more from these ladies in the year ahead. Take a look at your nominees for the 2023 Female Athlete of the Year. <laughs> Ready to run supreme again. Roaring to a new personal best by over a second. One of the busiest swimmers here, the first athlete to qualify for the U.S. Olympic team. Since 2012, Katie Ledecky has defined the art of distance swimming. In 2023, she claimed her fifth straight world title in the 1500 freestyle and a sixth straight title in the 800 free. Bruising away from the rest of the field to do what no swimmer has ever done. Six in the 800 free. I really didn't even know I was going to achieve that until people Telling me, so it's cool. UVA's Kate Douglas might be the most versatile swimmer in the world today. In Japan, she collected six medals, tied for the most among all women, including gold in the women's 200 IM. Kate Douglas coming from off the pace to grab gold of the world. The first gold for Team USA. I'm so happy, you know, I'm proud of myself for doing that. This summer, Reagan Smith became the fourth American woman ever to medal in four individual events at Worlds, joining legends Katie Ledecky, Shirley Babishoff, and Tracy Calkins. Reagan Smith got the silver in a very close race to the wall. To medal in all four events is a big win. Um, I'm really happy to bring home this much hard work for Team USA. With silver in the 400 IM and bronze in the 10K, Katie Grimes is a force in the pool and in open water. Her performance in the 10K qualified her for the 2024 U.S. Olympic team. Grimes cruises in for the silver medal. That's only like half the battle. Just because you qualify doesn't mean you can take it easy. Definitely no freedom for me. <laughs> And the golden goggles go goes to... to... Oh. No, I see why they asked us to give this award. Should I say it in the rowdy voice? 
It's a tie! It's a tie! <laughs> Katie Dladecki and Kate Douglas! To do what no swimmer has ever done. Six in the 800 free. Kate Douglas coming from off the pace to grab gold of the world. Um, well, thank you. This is cool. Um, I first off want to thank USA Swimming and the USA Swimming Foundation for a great night, and thank you to all of you for being so generous to even be here and to support each of us um, as we compete and to support the next generation of young swimmers that are just learning to swim. Um, I want to thank my coach, Anthony Nesty, for guiding me and helping me achieve what I did this summer, and to all my Florida teammates, many of whom are, are here tonight, um, thank you for pushing me each day. Um, and finally, I want to thank my family. Uh, my mom is here tonight, and um, just, <laughs> um, just thinking back to 20 years ago, why I started in the sport, um, it was because my mom and my dad knew and, and saw that um, swimming for a summer league swim team could mean meeting a lot of new friends. And I know that my parents were right because this room is filled with a lot of my friends. And I love the mission of the USA Swimming Foundation because it's inspiring young, young swimmers to learn how to swim. And I know that they're going to meet a lot of friends through this sport. So. Thanks for all that you do. Thanks to everyone that supported me. Thanks to Tier for, for supporting me. And thanks to all my teammates, uh, USA teammates as well, for making the summer a lot of fun. And I know we're going to get after it these next eight months and, and show, them, show them what we got in Paris. So let's go. Um, yeah, I mean, Katie said it all. She's done this a few times. So congrats. But um, yeah. I want to, you know, thank my parents um, and Arena too for, for everything and USA Swimming Foundation for just supporting all of us athletes. Um, and I want to give a special thank you to UVA, all the coaches, especially Todd DeSorbo, um, and all of my teammates, a few of which are here tonight. A uh, special shout out to my roommate, Maddie Donahoe. She's been my date to this event for the past three years, um, and it's been awesome. So yeah, thank you. <laughs> Oh, that's so awesome. Katie and Kate, congratulations. Love it. Love yes, it, love it. Awesome. All right.